Is this a great state or what? Is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Old building or historic landmark? The difference between the two often determines its fate as a city grows. Well, this evening, Galen Culver has the story of the very first building in Enid, how it got lost for a while, and where you can find it now. This is where it all started. From the Cherokee Strip Heritage Center to 1893, is it a long walk in historical terms, still only a few generations, and a gentle right turn for museum director Jake Crumweedy? Yeah, that's right. It may not look like much, but the crown jewel of their Humphrey Historic Village is this nondescript, meant to be temporary structure labeled U.S. Land Office. So anyone that was claiming any land in the territory would walk through at this door. Back in 1893, as hundreds of thousands of settlers rolled into the Cherokee Strip overnight, the Army chose Enid as one of four spots to place land offices. If you staked a claim somewhere near here, you had to come in this building to register. If there's one in Perry, Enid, Alva, and then Woodward. Everyone that had staked out uh, a claim within that area had to go to the nearest uh, the land office within that district. Of course, it took years for shorthanded clerks to sort out all the claims. Exactly right. It was a never ending line. The land office occupied a spot on the future courthouse square for 20 years at least. This would obviously have been the first building that was established here in Eden. Until suddenly, it didn't. Then it just kind of went away. We didn't know what happened to it exactly. Generations of settlers' descendants lived and died having forgotten what happened to this little building until homeowners remodeling this old house four blocks west of downtown Enid uncovered enough to identify the structure. At that point, the only surviving um, uh, land office in all of the state of Oklahoma. That was nearly 30 years ago, and it took some shoring up. The old land office had to survive another move to a spot near Government Springs. This old house is now this old land office once again. The one spot from that era Oklahomans can still register as an important piece of history. In Enid Galen Culver News 4, is this a great state or what? How about that? The land office and other buildings in the historic village behind the museum are part of a special lantern tour tonight. Tour guides are on hand in each building to explain the significance of those buildings.